Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome back to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, I don't know about you, but I am certainly looking forward to going on a holiday, hopefully this year. I didn't get away last year at all. And as much as I love being at home with my husband, uh, it's always good, isn't it, to get away, to have a change, to go on a journey, to arrive somewhere to probably do much the same as you do at home but you're in a different environment so it feels different and emotionally you you relax and there's always several highlights to the holiday that you just remember and then of course you come home and it's always quite nice to come home as well do you know that a piece of music is a bit like that every single piece of music goes on a journey it starts at home it goes away somewhere that is emotionally quite engaging and often a highlight a peak and then it will come back home again and that coming back home it's usually to do with a key uh, we start in the home key and then we we go away don't we somewhere usually dominant or all sorts of other places and then we come back home again and that makes us feel really good and in our music making, we have to really think about that journey. And my, my good friend and colleague, Lucinda Mackworth Young, just kind of brought that really to the fore for me at the weekend when I was working with her on the piano teacher's course. And actually it was sort of on the back of some work that I've been doing on Ready to Play Book Three, where I've been working on a piece by Diabelli and the whole focus of it was working on the expressive qualities. So how can we help our students to find the musical message, the musical meaning? Well, I think we start right from the right from the outset. We don't wait until the students are playing Beethoven. We actually start right at the beginning because every student can hear this. Every student has the ability to engage with the meaning and the expression and the emotion of a piece of music. It could just be as simple as Mary Had a Little Lamb. So here we go. Here's Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I'm just picking that out because I know a lot of Jude books have it. But rather than letting a child just play, um, you know, um, that's the notes, but it's not the music. Where's the music behind that? You have to help them find it. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little you could hear I took it on a journey I started I grew to about halfway through to the cadence there and then I brought it home again children are quite capable of doing that of going on that journey for you especially if you model it really really clearly and then here's another piece that I find the children really really do um, relate to very emotionally and that is in um, Piano Safari Book 2. There's a wonderful piece called Snowy Owl, opus 101, number 43, by Ferdinand Bayer. And... and um, this has got a lovely duet part to go with it. And of course, one of the attractive things about this piece is that it's in the minor tonality. So instantly, it's, it's more atmospheric for a child. And I do love one of the suggestions here for Snowy Owl, that you sneak in and sneak out of the phrases. So rather than bump in and bump out, yeah, you engage them emotionally. And of course, you can help with a wonderful duet part which you could record and share with them online, which is what I've been doing. So two, three, four. Yeah. So that's your first phrase. And I was doing this last night with, with a young lad. And I said, you know, where, where's, this, where's this song going to? Where's this piece going to? Where's the most important bit? And of course, it's on the third line that goes, and especially on those notes and that's a classic place for you to find the heart of the piece the the, the highlight of the piece the highlight of the journey if you like it's about two-thirds of the way through 
if you look in any piece of music and you'll nearly always somewhere after the middle two thirds three quarters of the way through that is what the whole piece of music is about yeah go looking for it in a piece you're learning see if you can find where's the emotional heart and every phrase before that has to build for to it and every phrase after it has to reflect the fact that it's coming down even beethoven of course beethoven so you know i've got a, a an adult student at the moment he's learning the beethoven in the grade eight opus 14 number one this one and now you know this is in sonata form this is going on a journey in a long and very structured way and as lucinda said you know um music is a living breathing form for expression as these these structures like sonata form they're not dry they're breathing ways of expressing a musical meaning so in beethoven where is the central point he starts at home in that e major of course we then have the development section which he goes far and wide he goes to very exotic places here because he actually ends up in c major and he starts in e major you can hear just me going from ear, ear, to, from here in E to here in C. Oh, that's very different, yeah? So he goes. There's a cadence. That's emotionally significant. Still there. Changing now. Diminished. he's turned the corner he's heading back to the recapitulation where where we're back in e major again so here's my challenge to you first of all one for you go and look at a piece that you're currently working on studying and find its emotional heart find its main point of arrival that you're always moving towards and you're coming away from probably won't be at the beginning it will be as I say about the after the halfway point two-thirds of the way three-quarters of the way something like that so for you that's one challenge a second challenge is to help your students to recognize those musical journeys that even the simplest of pieces go on right 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 from the very first early lessons and all the way through because it's that, it's that emotional heart to a piece that makes you and I want to play. And that's what we need to pass on. Don't assume that the child, the student, the adult will find that by themselves. They probably won't. Your job is to help them. So there we go. Finding the musical message. Two challenges to you. Hope you enjoy going away and working at that a little bit more. Any questions? Or if you find some challenges, just pop them in the chat below. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.